What is going on, guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How's everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a very interesting tech news day for you. Without further ado, let's jump in into the tech news. Our first story of the day, cameras again, guys. Galaxy Z Fold 4 S22 Ultra, high dynamic range, also known as HDR. We have a sample photo from Ice Universe showing this and it just puts the S22 Ultra into a little bit of shame. And he's saying in here, it's been half a year since the release of the S22 series and the camera problem has not been resolved so far. The Fold 4 handily beats the S22 Ultra in color and HDR. And when you look at the photo down below, the, SD, the S22 Ultra is on the left. On the right is the Z Fold 4, and you can see it's just more dynamically pleasing, and everything looks a lot better. The sun really pulls in a lot, uh, uh, whiting out the light and the clouds and stuff on the left photo of the S22 Ultra. So I know the Z Fold 4 on paper has, you know, worse spec out cameras than the S22 Ultra, but it's outperforming it. Now, it doesn't mean the S22 Ultra can't be updated and fixed, and hopefully it will uh, when these you know, comparisons come out uh, in, in a couple more months. But right now, it's not living up to the hype camera-wise versus the Z Fold 4. Next up is a speaker test, Z Fold 3, Z Fold 4, and I always felt the Z Fold 2 had better sound than the Z Fold 3. A lot of people say it's because the Z Fold 3 has water resistance, whereas the Z Fold 2 doesn't. Sure, maybe true. But ultimately, I was I left always a little bit disappointed with the Z Fold 3 speakers. Z Fold 4 sound better. Ice Universe has put out a tweet again saying that the speaker sound quality comparison Z Fold 3 and 4 are different. And the first sound we're gonna hear is the Z Fold 3, and then it'll go to the Z Fold 4, and you'll hear that the Z Fold 3 is way more mis way more distorted. So let's check this out real quick. Now, is that enough to upgrade? Probably not. I don't listen to the Z Fold 3 speakers and be like, oh my God, they're, they sound horrendous. I don't think that at all. But when you add up all these little things on if you should upgrade or are things improved, Z Fold 4 is looking pretty good right now. And our last story of the day also about the Z Fold 4 is about a new battery boosting thing they got going on. So it looks like 9to5 Google has put out a uh, story saying Z Flip 4 and Fold 4 get boosted battery life with the new light performance profile. So what it really means is you're gonna get a standard profile and a light profile. By default, it's set to standard profile which, mix, which mixes the best of performance and battery life. Light will perform with you know, not as good performance, much better uh, battery life, and more cooling to the phone, but also it drops the performance of the phone by about 20% based off uh, a Reddit post that went out, but even though it's reducing performance by about 20%, it still outperforms the Z Fold 3, making it basically on par performance-wise with the Z Fold 3 and still get uh, better battery life than that phone and a standard profile on the Z Fold 4. So all things good with that. And that'll be your question of the day. Which, when you use your phone, do you, are you always in some kind of battery savings mode or do you just use it in standard or enhanced processing uh, profile modes? Let me know in the comments down below. I usually just keep mine in a regular kind of standard mode. Uh, but let me know about you guys in the comments down below. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.